Matt Payne was riding to work with his wife and child when he saw smoke outside his local police station. So he turned on his cell phone and recorded this video. When he got closer, he saw a truck on fire and heard what sounded like gunfire. I looked to the right and in the field uh, just across the street from the police station, about 30 or 50 feet off of the curb was uh, a man out there standing up in the field, had a um, uh, bulletproof vest, flak jacket on, and then a gun, a rifle that looked somewhat like a military type rifle. He sped away and then recorded more video from a safer distance. And he heard what sounded like more gunshots. Police say the man firing the weapon was 29-year-old Patrick Sharp. They say he towed a trailer full of explosives to the police station and set fire to his pickup, apparently trying to lure people outside to kill them. Authorities say he clearly planned out his attack, but they're not sure exactly why he did it. After he exited the vehicle, he began to yell toward the public safety building. What specifically he yelled, we do not know at this point. He was activating his plan. Uh, he was heavily armed. He looked like he knew what he wanted to do. What we don't know is why he wanted to do it. Police fired at Sharp, and he died in the attack, but it's not clear if his wounds were self-inflicted. Authorities say Sharp fired at least 100 rounds at the police station, and they found an assault rifle, a shotgun, and a handgun on him. They also say the fire set off ammunition in the truck but failed to ignite the trailer. Among other things, that was full of flares, gasoline, and ammonium nitrate. Police say no one else was injured in the incident, but a nearby college went into lockdown. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.